What's up guys, this is Dennis from SEO Bots, and in this video I'm going to show you how to monitor prices of a Shopify store using one of our bots. Before I continue, please support the channel by giving us a thumbs up and if you would like to see more bot tutorials in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. Make sure to browse our collection of ready-made bots and of course, if you're looking for something customized, make sure to visit our custom bots page and submit a request. Okay, the infomercial is over and let's get back to the bot. You can find the bot by using our search function here. So let's look for Shopify, if I could spell it. And um, we have a bunch of Shopify bots, so make sure to check them out. And the one we're going to talk about in this video is right here, Shopify product price monitor. Click on that and make sure to go through the doc documentation and read and understand the details of how the bot works exactly, but I'm going to skip it and click the start bot button. Now I will emphasize this again, this is a Shopify bot and it will work only on Shopify stores exclusively. If it's not a Shopify store, if it's a WordPress, if it's WooCommerce, if it's custom made, this particular bot is not going to work. But we do have options for other systems, so uh, go ahead and search for the appropriate bot. And if you don't find anything, um, contact us and we'll think of something for you. If you're not sure whether a website you're going to track prices on is built using Shopify, you can use something like built with to check it. I'm going to put a link in the description and uh, you can try it on your own. But if you want a tutorial on built with, just uh, leave a comment, but I guess it's pretty straightforward. So I found this website on the internet with uh, gym gear and we're going to track the price of this wonderful balance pod. So let's start filling out our form. First, I'm going to name the job which the bot will be performing. So balance pod. Uh, this is an optional step, but naming your job really helps you understand what kind of a product you're tracking. So I really recommend you do that. Next, we need to fill out the product URL. So for that, go onto the website, um, open the page, the product page, and just copy this link from here into here, right? Next, you will need to set up the notification condition. You can ask the bot to notify you on any price change. So for example, our current price is 1297, but let's say I want to get notified uh, whether it's going up or down. So I'm just going to leave this option as is. However, if you want to get notified once the price uh, falls below a certain level or goes above or equals exactly a certain amount, you will need to select the second option and indicate the amount uh, that you're looking for. So let's say you want to, the bot to send you a notification only when the price of this product falls below $10. Now I'm not going to uh, do this, I'm just going to go with the first option. And next you need to specify the time settings of when the bot will trigger and run the check. So you can specify whether you want to run it every 10 minutes, every 30 minutes, every day or twice a day at a certain time. Setting the expiration date is also an option. For example, let's say you want the bot to stop checking for the price on the 22nd. Again, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to uh, run the bot until I manually stop it. Finally, you will need to select the notifications. So you can either get an email notification uh, or you can add Slack notifications to that. Or if you're a Telegram user, you can select that option. One last extra option that we provide is sending a notification even on no price change. So for example, if the bot runs the check and the price of this balance pod remains the same, you can check this checkbox and you will get a notification even though there was no price change. Now I'm not going to do that, I'm going to leave this blank and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the start this bot button. Okay, now you can see that the job balance pod had been created and is now uh, scheduled. Now the bot had already run the job once to store the initial price of the product, so it would have a number to compare 
the future pricings to. Now, if you click on the jobs title, you will go into the jobs page and you will see that we have 12.97 um, point on this chart. And this bot will also draw a chart for you of so you can monitor the price changes um, visually. Down below, you can see the monitoring log from 19th May, um, 1 p.m. and the recorded price was 12.97. You can play with the job settings and change the notification conditions. You can change your scheduling settings. You can set the expiration date here and uh, you can also control some other options like if you change your mind and if you and you want to get notified on no changes you can select this option right here now i'm not going to wait for the bot to run the job in uh, um, well it runs every 10 minutes but i'm going to uh, show you what's going to happen if i click the run now button the bot will ignore the scheduling and will um, fetch the current price of the product immediately um, because I want to show you the kind of email I will get. And since the price will probably not going to change, I'm going to pick this notify on no change uh, option and uh, click the run now button. Okay, so the job has been completed you can see that the chart was updated and we and we have this 12.97 um, price indicated here and now let's have a look at my inbox and you'll see that i did get an email from robot at seobots.io with the report and the current recorded price well this is practically it make sure to like the video if you found it useful make sure to leave a comment of what kind of bots you would like to see us build and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more bot tutorials in the future and i'll see you soon